Hi there, young math whizzes. Ready for a multiplication challenge? Jump into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for 20 exciting multiplication questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join in on the fun. Question 1. 10 times 2 equals what? So the answer is 10 times 2 is 20. To calculate, we have 10 groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 20 balls. Question 2. 12 times 2 equals what? So the answer is 12 times 2 is 24. To calculate, we have 12 groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 24 balls. Question 3. 15 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is 15 times 2 is 30. To calculate, we have 15 groups with two balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 30 balls. Question 4. 20 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is, 20 times 2 is 40. To calculate, we have 20 groups with two balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 5. 25 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is 25 times 2 is 50. To calculate, we have 25 groups with two balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 50 balls. Question 6. 30 times 2 equals what? So, the answer is 30 times 2 is 60. To calculate, we have 30 groups with two balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 60 balls. Question 7. 12 times 3 equals what? So the answer is 12 times 3 is 36. To calculate, we have 12 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 36 balls. Question 8. 14 times 3 equals what? So,
So, the answer is, 14 times 3 is 42. To calculate, we have 14 groups with 3 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 42 balls. Question 9. 16 times 3 equals what? So the answer is, 16 times 3 is 48. To calculate, we have 16 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 48 balls. Question 10. 20 times 3 equals what? So the answer is 20 times 3 is 60. To calculate, we have 20 groups with 3 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 60 balls. Question 11. 10 times 4 equals what? So the answer is 10 times 4 is 40. To calculate, we have 10 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 12. 11 times 4 equals what? So, the answer is 11 times 4 is 44. To calculate, we have 11 groups with 4 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 44 balls. Question 13. 12 times 4 equals what? So the answer is 12 times 4 is 48. To calculate, we have 12 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 48 balls. Question 14. 15 times 4 equals what? So the answer is 15 times 4 is 60. To calculate, we have 15 groups with 4 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 60 balls. Question 15. 10 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 10 times 5 is 50. To calculate, we have 10 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 50 balls. Question 16. 12 times 5 
equals what? So the answer is 12 times 5 is 60. To calculate, we have 12 groups with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 60 balls. Question 17. 14 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 14 times 5 is 70. To calculate, we have 14 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 70 balls. Question 18. 15 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 15 times 5 is 75. To calculate, we have 15 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 75 balls. Question 19. 20 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 20 times 5 is 100. To calculate, we have 20 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 100 balls. Question 20. 25 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 25 times 5 is 125. To calculate, we have 25 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 125 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.